Both of these, you know, you can scale like to the moon. What is up guys, Addy here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm excited. This video is going to be a banger. So we're gonna be talking about print on demand versus AliExpress drop shipping. And basically, you know, a comparison of the pros and cons between each. And based on your current situation, I'll walk through a few different scenarios, which ones, you know, might be better for you to kind of start out with and uh, give it, you know, give it a shot, right? So basically what is, you know, print on demand, what is AliExpress dropshipping? If you don't know, right, if you guys are kind of new to the scene, new to e-commerce and whatnot, print on demand basically is you work with a company that already has products available, say like shirts, hats, uh, mugs, phone cases, pillowcases, right? You can create your own designs or sell the designs that they have um, for, you know, like like on, on your website, right? When you create a Shopify website, you can sell their designs. You can upload your own custom designs and basically sell that, all right? And AliExpress dropshipping is basically you're taking products that already exist, right? With whatever design or whatever product it is, um, usually from AliExpress mainland China, right? And you're taking that, putting on your site, and then when someone orders it, you're ordering it from the supplier, okay? And then the supplier shipping it right to your customer. Both methods, you don't actually need to ever touch the product. I recommend you do just to get your own content and stuff like that, which is you know a whole other uh, thing. But basically, in essence, you never really need to hold inventory. You never really have to touch a lot of your products, okay? So both of them are basically like hands off in the sense, but there's a few key differences that I want you guys to be aware of, um, you know, pros and cons of both. So basically we'll just hop right into it. So print on demand pros. So basically what is, you know, really good about print on demand that dropshipping necessarily can't, can't you know, fulfill, right? So one, you don't have to fulfill orders manually, right? So with job shipping, especially when you're just starting out, you're not gonna have your own like virtual assistants to you know do all your um, orders and whatnot. But with print on demand, you actually don't need to be fulfilling orders, you know, every single day or every other day. But like with my stores, with my drop shipping stores, I have my virtual assistants, but like employees, quote unquote, right? Um, but I have my virtual assistants fulfill orders every other day for me, so I don't have to. So I've made it hands off. But with print on demand, it's already like that. So you never really have to fulfill orders manually. Um, that, that's like just the gist of it, right? And then next one is quality is always good, okay? So it's not necessarily amazing, but quality is always good because you're working with suppliers that um, literally already have all these products for sale and basically they're allowing you to like customize them or sell design, stuff like that, but quality is always good, okay? You don't really have to worry about quality control for the most part while, you know, on AliExpress dropshipping, you're working with suppliers from China. Um, there's so many different products um, available, right? That again, you sometimes don't really know what the quality is like, which is again, why I urge you guys to actually order your products um, as well so that you can you know, create content and actually check that the product is worth whatever you're selling it for, okay? So that's another thing. Now, another pro, right, is it actually gives you a lot more freedom in terms of like what you're selling, just because you can make your own design. So for you guys that have always just wanted to kind of create your own cool brand or your own store um, and sell something just like that, that's like truly like yours or like what you enjoy, something like that, right? then you can do that with that because you can actually sell and create your own designs on your own store, right? So it's, it's literally, it's more personal in a sense like that, okay? Um, it allows like more brand control um, than dropshipping, right? With dropshipping, you can make a very quality brand that you do control, but it's a lot more work, I guess you could say. With print-on-demand, it's really like you can create your own designs, upload them to your store, and you're done, all right? So that's, that's another pro. And another one is you get discounts when you start doing higher volume order, okay? You have to be doing a lot of volume, right? But you do get a lot of uh, discounts based on the um, like monthly revenue that you're bringing or monthly orders that you're bringing in for these um, for these print on demand suppliers, right? And that 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 can help you out a lot, guys. For example, right? I guess so. Um, one of the actual like apps, because again, with both print on demand and AliExpress dropshipping, you'll be using Shopify to kind of host your website and sell your products, right? And um, if you're doing print on demand, one of the apps you might be using is Printful, right? And I'm looking on their site wait right now um, in terms of volume discounts, right? So basically, on your accumulated monthly sales, okay? So if you're selling five thousand dollars a month which is is pretty easy guys um then they give you a five percent discount off of all all your goods that you're ordering right if you're doing two hundred thousand a month then they give you a 16 percent discount right and you know that, that those those percents might seem small guys but those those are those are really good discounts like think about this right with drop shipping with um, print on demand or just with with most of these offhand businesses uh, most of the times your margins are not amazing. They're, they're really good, but they're not like amazing, right? Um, but with these discounts, right, even a 5% discount, guys, that can help cover your, basically your, your cost per acquisition or cost per conversion when you're doing ads and whatnot, right? That just helps alleviate, again, like any, like if you can even get 1%, like shave 1% off of just your cost per product, 
that's money in your pocket. That's extra money in your pocket. That's your Starbucks drinks every day, right? That's that's just extra money in your pocket, okay, guys? So that is another pro that dropshipping doesn't necessarily um, give you right off the bat, right? And then the last pro that I, um, that I think is actually really valuable is shipping times, right? You get a lot better shipping times than dropshipping because most of the time with dropshipping, you are shipping from mainland China, uh, most of the time, right? Um, AliExpress is doing their own um, work to try and uh, stop that, right? So they're trying to, you know, have more suppliers in the U.S. and whatnot um, to alleviate that because they know that's the main concern for for us drop shippers, okay? And now the cons of print on demand, okay? There's only two that I could really, really kind of um, narrow down that I thought would like make an actual like big impact. And one, your margins are usually smaller because the supplier has to take their own cut on um, actually like printing the actual design and all that for you um, on top of everything else. They do like, it's not like AliExpress where the products are already made but and they just have them there, right? Um, with print on demand, they're making the designs for you on demand, right? Whenever you get an order. So for that, they do charge you a little bit um, higher. So your margins are usually a little bit less, but then that's why they have the volume discounts, guys. So it kind of makes up for it. And then the second pro, guys, is there's not as big of a range of products, right? So with most of these print on demand um, apps, you get, you know, custom shirts, uh, hats, mugs, phone cases, pillowcases, like stuff like that, right? But that's like, that's about it. There's not a whole lot you can do um, in terms of range, but again, it's like a for me, at least, I've always been in the fashion industry, so I'm, I'm perfectly fine with, you know, hats, hoodies, sweaters, um, stuff like that, like t-shirts. But again, guys, if you are trying to do something um, out there that's just not around that, then that might not be for you, right? Now, moving on to drop shipping, right? So the pros of drop shipping, the two biggest ones that I want to talk about are high margins and a huge selection of inventory. So with high margins, guys, like, again, you dictate the price and you can get a lot of these products dirt cheap, guys. So for example, if I sold like bracelets, anything um, on my websites, I could usually find them for a dollar to three dollars on AliExpress and I could sell them for, you know, any, anywhere like on the low end of $9.99 to the high end of like $14.99, okay? And just because of that, like, like look at like, those are huge, ridiculous margins, guys, okay? Compared to, you know, print on demand, if you're selling a shirt for, um, I don't know, $24.99, but it costs you, you know, uh, fourteen ninety nine to make, right? So you, you make ten dollars on that. So that's a little bit more than or a little bit less than fifty percent margins. But with the bracelet, you know, that's crazy margins. Okay, so that's a huge thing. And then a huge selection of inventory, guys. So basically, on AliExpress, you know, there's millions of products to choose from. So you know, whatever you're kind of thinking of selling or you know are kind of interested in, you probably can find it on AliExpress, right? Now, the cons of drop shipping, though. Um, there's four that I want you guys to be aware of. One, you have to fulfill orders manually, right? So it's not like print on demand where once it's ordered, they get notified right away. With this, you have to fulfill them manually, which means you get an order on your site, you then have to go to AliExpress and then order that product to your customer's address, right? Um, again, you can automate that, you know, once you have your own virtual assistant and stuff like that, but that's usually when you start getting more sales, not right in the beginning, okay? Um, the next one, guys, is longer shipping times. Again, I told you guys how AliExpress is trying to combat that by, you know, adding more suppliers in the U.S. Um, just to kind of quicken those shipper times or shipping times but um, as of now most of the products are shipped from China so you do get lengthier shipping times um, which is something to you know um, consider but there are workarounds right when your site you can always tell customers hey we're you know um, experiencing a high volume of orders so your shipping will be delayed like you just have to say things that will please the customer so that they're always just aware right um, it's always about keeping good communication with you know with your customer with your audience so they don't get mad at you okay now next one you get less control of your brand now I say this just because you can't actually design your own stuff if you're drop shipping, right? Um, most of the time you're just taking products that already exist and just selling it, right? But again, you can create your own brand around these products if you kind of um, curate certain products that, that kind of all fit together, right? That's why I go with niche stores with niche stores, guys, is because I can kind of select um, a little like batch of products that kind of all fit together and then create a brand around those products, right? So that's what I'm saying. It's just a little bit harder to do um, than print on event where you can just literally make your own designs, all right? Now, the last one, guys, is there's no discount on high volume, right? Especially if you're just starting out, like, it, like the price is the price, right? And the supplier can change that or lower that or increase that whenever they want, um, which is something to be aware of. But most of the time, it's usually not like that. They usually keep the price at whatever you usually find it as. Um, but just be aware that there is no discount in terms of, you know, what um, these print-on-demand kind of suppliers are doing, right? But guys, that is, you know, the super quick video, just kind of pros and cons of both print-on-demand and drop shipping. And basically, you guys, on, like, depending on your current situation and kind of where you want to, uh, what you want to do, right? Again, if you... If you do want to kind of curate your own brand or like have your own designs, um, again, print on demand is literally the, like the way to go for that, um, or the easiest way to go about doing that, right? Um, at like just to get a store up or like um, 
get your brand up in a week um, if you want your own designs and stuff like that without having to actually work one-on-one -on -one with suppliers and kind of curating your own um, product base, right? Which, which makes it a lot easier for you guys. But if you guys are wanting to, you know, higher margins, a little bit more profit, a little more like money in your pocket, then drop shipping is usually the way to go, guys. Both of these, you know, you can scale like to the moon and, you know, have, have a lot of profit in your pocket. But um, just starting off, guys, it's um, just different, like different things to consider. Me personally, I do like drop shipping. Um, a lot more just because I have more flexibility in terms of my pricing and uh, margins and whatnot like that because I, I love margins. I think e-commerce is just a numbers game, right? So if you can figure out your numbers, then it's literally just printing money at a certain point once you have your ads mastered, which which is a beautiful thing, guys. So um, that's kind of my two cents on just the whole thing. And basically, guys, as you know, um, a plug, right? The free zero to one K challenge, guys, there is the wait list down below. I want you guys to join in because basically I haven't told anyone this, right? Even Sebastian right if you guys don't know me and my buddy Sebastian who's also a youtuber uh, around e-commerce and drop shipping we're teaming up to take a store to actually a hundred thousand dollars in sales like in revenue right um, and <laughs> We haven't told anyone that. Like, I'm literally telling you guys this for the first time. Um, but basically, guys, we have a zero to one K. So basically, we're walking you guys through how we got the first one thousand dollars in in revenue for the store. That's completely free. You can join the wait list down below um, and just like wait on that because it's gonna come out in like a week, um, a week or two. But basically, that is going to be free. We might charge for it later down the road, which is why I want you guys to hop in now because the people that hop in are on the wait list. They automatically get it for free no matter what we decide to do. Um, and then afterwards, there is an application process to um, see if you guys can get into the 10K challenge, right? So you will see how we actually scaled from $1,000 to the first $10,000. And then from there, guys, we're actually gonna have a 10K to a $100,000 um, challenge program, which like, I, I think it's cool because no other YouTuber is doing this, right? Um, so like, we're literally going to walk you guys through how we make $100,000 in sales with a dropshipping site. And the next part is like, I, I, I just like to document this just because no one else is doing this. And um, we get, Basically, we get we get to move on to other stuff too. So like, I want to do this challenge for print on demand as well, so you guys can kind of see the differences of like margins or how like if there's a difference in scaling basically because we are working with different margins in the backside of things. Um, so when you scale, guys, there's a lot of things you have to take into account because you know money comes in and money comes out at different times. All right, so that's usually the trickiest part of scaling. Once you kind of figure out how to scale, is how to actually budget your scaling. Okay, um, so there's there's ways to go about that. It, it, it's a numbers game, guys, but I'm excited to walk you guys through all this stuff. It's gonna be crazy. That's my free plug, guys, and you can hop in the course now um, because that's closing really soon. Um, I think in just a week, um, but that's closing, guys. So you can hop in that. Um, that's the first link there. The wait list is, I think, the second link in the description. But that is the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. I love your guys' support, and don't forget to comment. I respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are doing a video a day. And I'm excited, guys. There's there's a lot of stuff cool. Like there's a lot of cool stuff coming. I'm doing like votes and polls um, on on the YouTube stuff. So basically, just you know, kind of keep an eye out, guys, for the waitlist and and for me, just asking questions to you guys to kind of get a better understanding of what you guys want um, from me to like help you guys out with, uh, which is really cool. Cause I know I did a recent poll and a lot of you guys actually want to know about the SaaS and software stuff that I do on the side, which is a lot of passive money, guys. It's it's a beautiful kind of um, business model, right? So I'm excited to kind of share that or start sharing that stuff with you guys as well. But that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Take care and peace. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.